I'm Isaiah J. Poole, and I'm here with Ethan Rome, who's the Executive Director of Healthcare for America Now. Healthcare for America Now has been a champion in healthcare reform and is, is significantly responsible for giving us the Affordable Care Act. And you've been raising the alarm about the latest efforts by Republicans to undermine uh, the Affordable Care Act. What's been going on? Well, I mean, they've done everything that they can since the passage of the law to try to repeal it, defund it, undermine its implementation, and they're running out of time. They've, they've got nothing else going on. 26 days, October 1st, this law comes online. So what are they doing now? They're attacking the people who are going to help folks sign up for the law. They're doing everything that they can to sabotage the enrollment. So specifically, there's uh, people, there's organizations that are called navigators. Okay. And it's their job to help people sign up for coverage. And that, that's through these health care exchanges. Yes. So for people who, I mean, it's both, it's, it's for exchanges and for people who are eligible for Medicaid. Okay. And, but, so, but the notion is, is that, you know, if you or I are, are eligible for either of those, we're not sure what to do, mm -hmm. how to go about doing this. And what navigators do is work with us and help us make selections and, and, and sign up. And these what, are people who were, were, were designated in the law. Uh, these positions were created by the law to help people sign up for the health care benefits that the law entitles them to. Yeah, and if we just step back, by the way, we're talking about nonprofit organizations, mm -hmm. you know, food bank organizations, the Epilepsy Foundation, health centers, right? That's, that's what we're talking about. Those are the people who are navigators. And the way that they're being attacked is, for example, the House Energy and Commerce Committee on the 29th of August sent letters to 51 navigator groups in 11 states asking them to produce reams and reams and reams of documentation about their operation. And they have to do that by the 13th of September. They have to come to Washington, D.C. for a briefing. And shockingly, these, all of these uh, navigator groups are in states with the highest number of uninsured people. It almost strikes me as not even, how could that even be, uh, I, I suppose it would be legal, but it certainly doesn't seem fair. Well, in, in, in the case of what the House Committee is doing is, I can't imagine a more plain example of an abuse of power, because it's a sham investigation. It's done at a time that is intended to interfere with the ability of these groups to execute the law. Now, there's no, there's no, or is, is there a real suggestion that these navigators are somehow doing something underhanded or illegal or anything like that? No, there's, there's no serious stated reason whatsoever for why the Republicans are doing this. It's just about sabotage. There's an insurance commissioner in Georgia. He's been posting about the fact that they passed a law that specifically makes it harder for navigators to be certified because it forces them to meet the same standards as insurance agents. And that's specifically prohibited in the federal law. And the reason is because that's not their function. They're not selling you insurance. They're, they don't have to do and know all of those things. They're just helping to facilitate the process to make it as easy as possible for the 25 million people who don't have insurance to get it. So what's the, what can be done in this situation? What, what is, are, are there some things that are being done out in the field to sort of counteract this? I mean, the most important thing is, one, is to, is to expose this effort everywhere it is. The second thing is for organizations to just do what it is that they're going to do. Because we just have to do an even better job promoting the law, reaching out to people, trumpeting everything that is available in the law, because this is their last-ditch effort. For the Republicans, this is all they have. They're running out of time. And what they've said, by the way, is that Obamacare is going to be the end of the world. Right? So we're 26 days away from the entire end of civilization as we know it. Right? On, the, on the 1st of October, there will be no jobs. Right? <laughs> Everything's going to come to an end. Every small business is going to go out of business. That's the Republican rant. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, if, if you're or an ordinary citizen uh, 
who is hearing all of this stuff about the, the navigators and the healthcare exchanges. Um, are you, for example, providing, is Healthcare for America now providing uh, useful information that they can uh, use either to inform themselves or to fight back? We're working with a number of organizations that are specifically working as, as navigators, for example. And so anytime you go to a community health center, uh, they will find out if you are eligible for this program. There's going to be call centers and phone numbers advertised all across the country so that people hear about this program. The truth is, not a lot of people know about the law still. And the most important time to talk to people about the law is when they can sign up right away. Right? The idea is simply you know, that when you and I hear about the law, if we're eligible, we want to be able to sign up at that time. And one of the best ways that's going to happen is that people are going to be knocking on our door through organizations like Enroll America, through labor organizations, through nonprofits of all kinds, hospitals, right? So people are going to be coming to your door and finding out if you're potentially eligible, and that's going to be the best way. Well, they say that information is power, and I think in this kind of situation, information really is power. So uh, go to ourfuture.org and to healthcareforamericanow.org and be informed. Thank you. Thanks very much.